Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. Today I would like to present another case of fulminant fungal keratitis. The patient went to another doctor and he told him that we have to perform keratoplasty in order to get rid of the infection. Uh, it appeared that the ulcer has involved the whole cornea and there is no hope because she was taking medication but it was not recovering healing when i observed the case under microscope i realized that the ulcer is not that much but actually the anterior chamber is filled with lot of pus and exudates so i decided to perform anterior chamber paracentesis and wash and now you can see that under topical anesthesia I made a port and now with the help of irrigation aspiration cannula I am slowly and gradually removing the exudate inside anterior chamber and you can see the shining cornea above the exudates you can see almost uh, i have cleared half of the anterior chamber the exudate uh, it had made anterior cynix uh, the and the iris was also very friable and uh, bleeding uh, but i carried uh, on the anterior chamber wash uh, you can see the membranes they are organized and uh, now here i am peeling uh, one membrane you can see basically the ulcer was just in the center of the cornea and all that appeared to involve the whole cornea was actually the anterior chamber full of exudates so now i am clearing the anterior chamber as much as possible you can see that anterior chamber is now almost clear but again uh, there was a lot of exudate behind the iris as well so that's also an important point that when you clear the anterior chamber you make sure that you remove all the posterior cynix like here I am uh, anterior cynix between the cornea and the peripheral iris and then try to wash the exudates in the posterior chamber as well because now I have cleared the anterior chamber but in pupil I am slowly sucking the material because the patient is faking so make sure you don't damage the lens but also go under the iris and remove as much exudate as possible so that when we clear the anterior segment and then when we give the topical subconjunctival and systemic antifungals it works because if it responds to the treatment very well now patient was in a severe agonizing pain when presented to me she even wanted to get rid of her eye she wanted evisceration to relieve the pain so take home message in this case is whenever you encounter keratitis and especially if you have high suspicion of fungal keratitis Keenly observe the cornea, anterior chamber, pupil and make sure where the infection is, where inf uh, what is the level of infection, whether cornea is invaded or whether anterior chamber is filled with hypopion because if it's in the anterior chamber then thorough anterior chamber wash shed lot of micro microbial load and uh, then aggressive therapy topical subconjunctival intrastromal and systemic saves the eye as well as vision and then when 
and then if confirm if you are confirmed that the infection is in the intracamerally in the anterior chamber then first do B scan to rule out uh, posterior segment involvement because uh, if posterior segment is involved uh, you can then also do the anterior segment wash but it will not be of much benefit but usually I have seen in my practice that in fungal keratitis usually the infection is confined to the anterior segment so when you do a thorough wash then uh, also put uh, intracameral fluconazole 0.5 ml uh, and give subconjunctival and all the modes of uh, therapy and the patient heals miraculously thank you